chicken breast this is a skinless and boneless I have approximately three I'm going to wash them and then we I'm gonna cut it cut it in half because out of these three I'm going to make six I just gonna cut it that's optional some people just like it the way it is if you like it like that you can leave it you know like that but I'm gonna cut mine in half and I'm going to remove this skin this piece in here I'm gonna remove it And then I'm going to cut the chicken breast on, on half. I'm going to continue doing the same thing to the other ones, and I'm going to show you. Now in here, I'm going to put some seasoning salt. You can put salt. You can put adobo. You can put whatever seasoning is your preference. Just a little bit on top. And be careful because the bread, we're going to use some crackers. And the, the crackers already um, has some salt on it, some seasoning. So you can put um, that. And then I just sprinkle some one side and then the other side. Now in the food processor, I'm going to crush the crackers. If you don't have a food processor, you can use a Ziploc bag and a rolling pin and smash them. I'm using the flatbread crisp, but you can use whatever crackers you want. And if you don't want to do this, you can definitely use any breadcrumbs. Uh, but this is something different, and I have a video in how to make it with the uh, red crackers. I'm going to cr crush all these crackers. And in here, as you see, I already had a chicken right there. And I have two eggs, and those two eggs, I bit them. And then I put two tablespoons of water. I have my breadcrumbs crackers, and this is a plain um, flour. I just gonna pass the chicken and the egg, and then pass it in the flour. And some people seasoning the flour. I didn't season in the flour because the crackers already have a lot of salt on it and herbs. But you can season in your flour as well. And then pass it and the egg again. And depending on how much chicken you're making, you can add more flour, more breadcrumbs, and more eggs, okay? And then you go going, make sure you cover. If you can use your hands, even better, okay? So now you got the idea. And then you're going to set that in a plane on the side like this, okay? And let's kill it. We're going to add some oil because we're going to deep fry this chicken breast. And this part is very important, so press attention. The oil can be too hot because it's not that the bread is going to burn and your chicken is going to feel raw. And it can be too low because it's not that the, the, the breadcrumb is going to fall out. So you want the, the oil to be heated up probably between medium high, which is the number seven mm -hmm. in my electric stove. Well, heat, let, it, let it heat it up, and then you're going to add the chicken, and you're going to cook it in a medium-high temperature, not high, not low, okay? For probably three to four minutes per side, depending on the um, the uh, the size of your chicken breast. Those are not too fat, so it's going to cook um, quickly. Now my, my oil is hot, and then I'm going to add the chicken. And like I say, cook it for probably four to five minutes per side. And when it's ready, you can serve that with any mashed potatoes, any rice. So this is something good, something easy to make. After four minutes, five minutes, you're gonna turn it, and then let it cook to the other side. You want like a, a nice golden color, but at the same time, you want the chicken to be cooked. So that's why very important, the temperature, it can be too high. And then I'm going to show you the final result after probably five minutes, four to five minutes. 
And this is the final result for my chicken. I hope you guys like it. If you like it, thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you for watching and until the next one, bye-bye.